Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Nourish My Soul. My name is Jeff. I am the lead servant for LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene, or LA Philnaz. Please join our church every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Let's start with the reading of the word. January 12, 2021. Today is Tuesday. James chapter 1, verses 19 to 20. It's about hearing and doing the word. My dear brothers and sisters, understand this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. For human anger does not accomplish God's righteousness. Question. Why do I get so angry? Anger, frustration, irritation. We all feel it from time to time. Sometimes it just explodes. It explodes at our kids, our spouse, or our co-workers. And we wonder if there's something dark lurking inside us. Anger doesn't have to run or ruin your life. In fact, if you learn to manage anger correctly, it can give insight into areas of your life where you're leaving short of all God intends for you. The thing you probably want answered first is, why do I get so angry? The simple answer is, you get angry because you have some hopes and dreams for yourself and your family. But all around you are threats to those dreams. When you get angry at something happening to you, it's always because of something happening inside you. Anger isn't a sin. It's just a sign. It's a sign that one of your hopes and dreams is being threatened. There are three specific hopes and dreams that we all have. We all want, number one, security. It be physical, financial, or emotional. We all want connection, relationships, feeling valued and accepted. We all want control, feeling empowered to make choices and have no options. And we get angry when we feel one of those three is being threatened, right? When you start feeling the threat, your brain energy shifts away from your prefrontal cortex, the problem-solving part of your brain. At that point, all rational and reasonable thought basically shuts down. So we have to step away. Take a deep breath. Calm down and get thinking straight again. That's what the Apostle James is talking about in today's verse. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. James 1, 19 to 20. Take a moment right now and think about practical and healthy ways you can calm yourself down when you get angry or irritated. Things like prayer, breathing deeply, or taking a walk. So you respond in a way that doesn't turn your anger into sin. I remember in Psalm 4.4, it says, In your anger, do not sin. Why not write down today's verse and keep it handy? When you start feeling angry, read the verse a few times. Then calm yourself down in a healthy way. So that when the time comes that 
you will ask yourself again, why do I get so angry? Now you know the answer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for reminding us not to be consumed by anger. That anger is not a sin. In fact, you exhibited anger, but it is a sign that there's something wrong within us. Lord, we pray that in our anger, may we not sin against you. Lord, we pray for the COVID-19 patients, those who are with COVID-19, we speak of healing, complete healing. And we, we pray, Lord God, that uh, you make use mightily of those vaccines to put an end to this pandemic. We pray, Lord God, for the, for the um, political unrest that we're experiencing. We pray for peace. We pray for orderliness and a smooth transition of presidency. We pray that uh, you calm everyone, Lord God. May your peace be upon all of us. We thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful day. Thank you for your love, your mercy, your forgiving heart. We love you. Lord God, also, I'd like to declare, and as well as all the listeners and and uh, those people who are watching, Lord God, Lord, we want to declare that we are sinners. We believe that you died upon the cross for us. That you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of our sins. And we believe that on the third day, you rose from the dead. And went to heaven to prepare a place for us. We accept you now as our Lord, our Savior, our God, our friend. Come into our hearts and set us free from our sins. And because you are our, you are our Savior, Lord, we shall not die, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen, and amen, and amen. God bless you. Bye.